Hey lovelies, over the last few weeks I've been sharing some delicious no cook recipe ideas to help you beat the summer heat this season and today I've got three more tasty ways to do just that. I am sharing some yummy chilled soup recipes. I know some of you might be skeptical but I assure you not only are these summer soups light and fresh but they are also packed with great flavor and they also happen to be really nutritious. So there's a ton to love. Now we're gonna get started with a classic chilled summer soup that you might have heard of. This is gazpacho and it's made with a base of beautiful tomatoes, a little cucumber, some peppers, lots of good stuff. Now first, I am using some nice ripe Roma tomatoes. Of course, they are available in abundance in the summer. As you can see, I have removed the seeds. What we're trying to do is take out a lot of the liquid in the tomatoes because we don't want this to be too watery. We want it to still have a little bit of body. Same story with my cucumber. As you can see, I've peeled and seeded this as well. Peeling it helps give you a much nicer texture in your gazpacho, and removing the seeds is again going to remove some of that water so you don't get something that's too liquidy. I've also got some red bell pepper headed into my blender with a little onion and a whole clove of garlic. Then for a slightly stranger ingredient, I have some crusty bread that I removed the crust from headed into my blender. I know this sounds a little weird, but it creates such a nice body in your gazpacho. You will not regret it. For a little bit of tang, I'm adding some red wine vinegar. I've got a little bit of olive oil headed in here. It's almost like a liquefied salad in a way. I've got some ground cumin headed in here. And then, of course, I have to hit this really liberally with salt and pepper. We'll pop the lid on our blender, give it a whirl, and there you go, this bacho gazpacho is done. I like putting it back in the refrigerator for between 30 minutes and an hour because it is best served super, super cold. Super cold. Chilled soup, got it? Super. Next, for something even more refreshing, I am serving up a chilled, creamy cucumber and avocado soup that honestly tastes like something you would get at a spa. It all starts with two cucumbers. Like I did with the gazpacho, I have removed the seeds. So we've eliminated a lot of the water in our cucumber. Next, I'm going to add some avocado to that. Also, for some additional creaminess, I am using some plain yogurt. Then I'm going to add lots of fresh herbs. So I'm doing that with some parsley. I've got some freshly chopped dill here as well. And then I've got some green onions. For a really great tang and even more bright citrusy flavor, I am hitting this with the zest and juice of a lemon. That really makes this sing. And then we'll just finish it off once again with a good helping of salt and pepper and give it all a good blend. The team and I were having a big chat about whether or not these actually constitute soups or if they're more like savory smoothies. I honestly could go either way. I like to add a little more fresh dill for garnish and that is one delicious way to get your soup on. Our final recipe today, guys, is one that you actually have to taste to believe. It's a chilled Southwestern corn soup, and it is unbelievably yummy. The best part is it is made with fresh corn cut right off the cob. As you may or may not know by now, I am sort of obsessed with corn this summer. I think I've pretty much used it in almost every video I've made over the last month. Let's be honest, the summer is just time for corn. So I'm gonna get my corn kernels uncooked straight into my blender. To that, I'm going to add some yellow bell pepper. Of course, you could use any color bell pepper you wanted to, but I wanna keep my soup nice and yellow, so yellow bell pepper totally made sense. Next, I'll add some green onion to my blender, as well as half a clove of garlic. Now, I'm using half a clove here because my cloves were sort of enormous and I didn't wanna overpower this soup, but of course, you can use as little or as much garlic as you like. Now, to make this a little creamy and a little rich, I'm going to be adding some sour cream to this. You could swap in some plain yogurt if you wanted to. This just makes it really sort of smooth and thick and rich. And then I'm going to season this up simply with some chili powder and some salt and pepper. To help this blend up really well, I'm also going to add a few splashes of buttermilk to my blender. Buttermilk is great because it's a bit tangy and a bit thicker the perfect contrast to all that sweet, fresh corn. If you don't have buttermilk though, you can use traditional milk, that's fine too. 
We'll put the lid on our blender, give everything a good blend, and once it's nice and smooth, we can pour it into our bowl. I like serving this up super cold, straight from the fridge, a little dollop of sour cream, a sprinkle of chili powder, and a little fresh cilantro make it even more delicious. Lovelies, I hope these three no-cook recipes make your lives in the kitchen a little cooler this summer. I hope you'll give all three tasty recipes a try. If you do, be sure to tweet me, Instagram me, or Facebook me a photo because I always love seeing your kitchen creations. Remember, all of these yummy recipes are available on HealthyMealPlans.com, our awesome meal planning site. You can find the links in the description box. And finally, if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell because there is lots more deliciousness where this came from.